What is up, YouTube world? I'm your brother Reza. This is KRT Life. We just took a quick road trip in this brand new Range Rover. I don't even know what it is. Let's go around to the back and take a look. And I'll tell you what I think of it real quick. Evoke. So 2018 Range Rover Evoque. What's my general consensus of it? I think that it's a very comfortable vehicle. I think it has some really interesting features. I like the massive sunroof that you can see behind my head. Um, I like some of the general appointments on this vehicle, like the leather is good in some areas. Um, pretty much everything that your body touches is pretty soft. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's nice, but it's not that nice. It's like you definitely don't feel like you're in a, a Range Rover classic or something like that on you know long wheelbase Range Rover you definitely feel like you're in a downgrade from a Range Rover but they threw a little tech toys in here to make you kind of feel like you're up to speed with everything else um, the dash is cool the cruise control is pretty intuitive it's pretty easy to use and it actually is a little um, a little screen that pops up on the little interactive screen within your uh, tachometer and your speedometer that pretty much shows you what your cruising speed is and you can adjust it by uh, by hand like most vehicles are. Um, but this vehicle has a very strange torque band and it takes a while to get going. When you're coming from a dead stop, it kind of like feels like you're riding a dead animal or something like that and you're trying to get it to go and then it finally starts going once it gets up to speed. <laughs> once you're up to speed though, the ride is pretty smooth and pretty comfortable. It's pretty quiet, it has decent um, aerodynamics I guess. Um, average miles per gallon, we're getting 21.1 miles per gallon and we're cruising at 55 miles per hour, which is our standard cruising speed. And um, but I think the main limitations of this vehicle is space. It's a mini SUV, I guess, so to speak. And there's not very much cargo space in the boot. And if you have three people in here, it's actually kind of tight. If you have four people in there, then you're pretty much dealing with the crowd. The sat down system is okay. I haven't really had much time to play with it because I've been driving, but it has a color screen, it's a touch screen, it has Bluetooth, it has all the other bells and whistles that you would expect in a, uh, in a Range Rover. But besides that, everything here is pretty standard and Spartan-esque. If you look at this center console, there's no, there's nothing there that dazzles you. Like when you like, you know, when you get into the newer Range Rovers, it's just kind of, it looks kind of Fordish to me personally. But yeah, that's why I kind of think about it. It's, it's, a, it's a cool car, not something that I would buy. I don't even know if I would get it for a rental. It's like, you know, but it does ride smoothly. This is a brand new vehicle, so I would hope that it did so. So I just finished a 300 mile round trip work trip in this 2018 Range Rover Evoque. And I can tell you some things I like about it and things I hate about it. Things I like about it is these side mirrors. Side mirrors are great. I don't like the rear hatch. You can't see out the back very well. Um, the start stop is cool. Um, everything else I pretty much don't like about this car. It's kind of slow. It has lag. Like I don't know if this is a turbo or not, but it feels like it has turbo lag to some degree. And um, I'm not really feeling that. So uh, let me break it down with the uh, little recap real quick. Cost, I don't know how much this thing costs, but I think it's pretty expensive, so no points for cost. Reliability, it's brand new, but it's a Range Rover, so no point there. Uh, drivability, it's, it's quiet, it's kind of smooth, but when you're really kind of like, you know, going around corners and stuff, it's not stable, so no points there. Curb appeal, definitely no curb appeal. The styling is like really, 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 really whack on this thing, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, uh, I can't remember. I'm so tired, but I don't like this car. I give it a probably a two out of five. So yeah, this is my quick review of the Range Rover Evoque 2018 Range Rover Evoque. Um, the only thing I like is the side mirrors on this car. Literally, that's it. Do yourself a favor, skip this, buy yourself a proper Range Rover or at least a Range Rover Sport, not the Evoque.